Hello, ESC Bubble. Eurovision is just around the corner and we are very privileged to be joined by Raven, who has just completed her second rehearsals for Veronica. Um, Raven, how have rehearsals gone so far? They were amazing. I'm very happy with what we did. Um, the Swedish team, team is uh, just incredibly good. Um, they listened to us. I think we really captured the essence of the video. Um, so I'm very happy with how everything goes for now. So, like, for people who aren't sort of clued into Eurovision, like, could you just maybe describe the rehearsal process, like, from start to finish? What would a typical day be? Yeah, um, usually we get to the venue quite early. Um, so we have, we don't really have a lot of free time, but we, I usually do the makeup already here at the hotel. I have my own makeup artist there. They, we then do the hair there. Um, I have quite a lot of hair, so this uh, then takes quite some time. <laughs> also, my dancers need to get their hair and makeup ready. They need to warm up. I need to warm up. Um, and then you just uh, start your in-ear monitoring. Um, and then, yeah, it's everything is so organized. Everything goes like that, that, that. It's just um, very well organized. And although we are there for quite some time, um, Mm -hmm. After the rehearsal, you also go to the viewing room, you see everything, You, if you want any changes, your team um, uh, kind of um, communicates that and yeah, then you're done. Well, it's worth it to make it look so good, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. so, um, I mean, actually, let's let's talk about your dancers for a second, like, who are you on stage with, like, how did you get to know I'm them? I'm on stage with five ballet dancers from our National Opera Ballet Ljubljana. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're classically trained ballet dancers, which goes really well with me being a classically trained mezzo. Um, the choreography was made by Luca Sushlak. He's also one of the principal dancers there in um, Ljubljana, ballet dancers. Um, so we kind of really worked on my natural movement and embraced this kind of creepy awkwardness <laughs> that I kind of have in my movement as well. I'm definitely not like a Chanel type of a dancer. Uh, so uh <laughs> not, not everyone yeah. is it? <laughs> yeah we kind of just went with what, how what comes natural to me so it's more like movement not actual choreography you know yeah i do we can see that and like you mentioned like translating that sort of like the atmosphere of the music yeah. video to the stage like just thinking like because there's also a parallel like in terms of the outfits as well like who's who's designing your outfits like how did that come about uh, the design for my outfit was actually made by Aimona, a Slovenian brand. Um, she made mm -hmm. all the outfits. I've been working for her for quite some time now. She, it, it was really, really closely. Um, we were working closely together. Um, so uh, this design was really kind of a cooperation between me and her and also a bit Lucas, um, who, my choreographer, who really um, helped us with how something should to just see if I can move in that outfit, you know? So to create the mm -hmm. illusion of being naked and still make it sophisticated is, uh, while moving is uh, cha was a challenge, but I, I'm very happy with what we came up with. Yeah, it looks fabulous. Like, I'm really Thank excited. You. So, um, like, I'm going out to Malmö tomorrow. I know a lot of people will be going out there, like, in the, in the coming days, weeks. I know a couple of people are already out there. Like, how have they been treating you so far? What's Malmö been like? Oh, I love Malmo. I, I'm so happy that it's so calm. The the weather is amazing. We, we were so lucky with this weather. Um, everyone is super nice. Everyone is so professional. Everything is so well organized. It just, I really, it's been a true joy to um, to to stay here. Yeah. 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 The, the clips I've seen that like everything looks really slick, like the accreditation process, and like yes. yeah, I think we're I think we're in for a good year. I do need to point out that. Um, You've actually been taken. So there's a party in the UK called Boom Bagger Bang, like a Eurovision preview party where huh? they give out like glossy postcards of acts as you go huh? in. And you have been taking pride of place on my desk. <laughs> oh. uh, you and Bambi, interestingly Ooh, enough, your, uh, your your fellow fellow witch colleague. Yeah. Um, have you yeah. had the chance to meet your your fellow witch colleague yeah. with Bambi, Gorta, like anyone else? I've met like, Bambi. Been I've met up so far. Yeah, I've met, I think, everyone. Um, everyone is mm. so, everyone's super nice. Um, they're so inspiring also. There are so many artists that I really find um, just, they really inspire me and I think they're amazing. Everyone is super nice. 
just I only have good things to say about our like the the all the other contestants. It doesn't really feel like a competition, honestly. Oh, that's really nice to hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, um, I did want to point out. I mean, we've seen this from a lot of the artists, but we've seen you singing in the shower this week on the <laughs> Eurovision Insta. Um, <laughs> do you just want to tell us a bit about that? Because that's been well, one yeah, of my favourite aspects and... so far this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's been, uh, you know, some songs where you don't fit into a shower. <laughs> so these are the ones that are more challenging. I doubt that anyone would sing Veronica under the shower. <laughs> but uh, you're telling a Euro fan, you know, we're, we're used to singing in like 16 different languages in the shower. So it was, it was very well, relatable. <laughs> well, then, um, <laughs> yeah. No, it's been, it's been really fun to try to convey that song and make it suitable for a shower. <laughs> I hope I succeeded. No, I'm not, though. <laughs> I think you did. Um, so, like, just to kind of thinking ahead, like, so you've done your second rehearsal. We've got the, the carpet coming up. I think this video will probably go out some point between now and then. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, in terms of next week, like, uh, where can we expect to see you? Like, are you doing performances, like, in the club, in the village? Like, are you going to be around the city? Um, actually, I don't know that yet, if I'm quite honest. Um, I <laughs> might you might just go where, where they yeah. tell me to go. Um, I don't think yeah. I'll be doing the knowledge you're really busy at the moment. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'll be doing many performances. I mostly would just like to conserve my energy for the stage. Also, I don't mm -hmm. want to show too much. I also think that um, this type of uh, song is not suitable for every type of stage also. Um, I, so I don't know yet, uh, but I wouldn't say if it would be a, an opportunity where I could um, showcase Veronica well, then for sure. Yeah, and I think to kind of round off the the serious part of this interview, if you could call it that, um, like, is there anyone you want to dedicate your performance to? Is there anyone that you've been oh. thinking about when you've been performing? Well, I I think the answer is very very straightforward. I would I want to dedicate this performance to to Veronica. Um, but at the same time, as I say, yes, I'm TC Veronica. I think there's a part of her story of being mis like misjudged or maybe not accepted in every single person. And I think um, she's just a um, role model for anyone that um, just really needs to be stay in contact with themselves, be as authentic as possible, maybe because they were misjudged or felt out of place somewhere. So. Um, I dedicated to all Veronicas of the world, <laughs> of Europe, of Eurovision. Absolutely, that's a really nice answer. Um, so, um, just before we go, uh, we're going to get a bonus question now. So, um, if you'd like to pick a number between 1 and 30, please. 8. 8, okay. Oh, in a film of your life, who would play you? Ooh, Anya Taylor-Joy. Brilliant answer. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Okay, well, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time up your very busy schedule to chat to us, Raven. Um, hopefully, we'll see you at some point around the city, maybe on the carpet, maybe just in the middle of this whole brilliant Eurovision rigmarole. But um, yeah, thank you so much for chatting to ESC Bubble. And uh, yeah, go and listen to everything that Raven does. She's fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for a lovely interview.